Welcome to Teledynamics video training series for the UCM 6300. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. First, log into the GUI of the UCM. From there, click on the System Settings and then Network Settings. You are now on the Basic Settings page. Here is where you can change how the UCM gets and keeps an IP address. If you need the UCM to be a DHCP server, then your only option would be to use the route method. But for today, I am just covering setting a static IP address using the switch method. There are a few reasons why a static IP address is recommended. One is so the UCM's IP address will never change, and the phones will always register the same SIP server address. Another reason is that if you need any ports forwarded from your firewall to the UCM, the UCM will always be at the same forwarded private IP address. If you prefer not to set a static IP address for the UCM, another option would be to use a DHCP reservation for the UCM, which I will not cover here. Now, under Method, verify that your method is set to switch and not to route. Route method makes the UCM act as a router, which is not the preferred method. In addition to the switch and route options, the third option available, dual method, lets you use both the LAN and WAN ports on two different network subnets. However, the UCM will not route traffic between the two networks. Next, change the LAN IP method from DHCP to static. Fill in the details pertinent to your network environment to include the static IP address, subnet mask, gateway IP, and at least one DNS server. If you have more than one DNS server, then you should also specify the preferred DNS server. Once finished, you will click Save and then agree to the UCM rebooting. The UCM will now reboot and will no longer be accessible at the previous IP address. Remember to change to the new static IP in the browser's address bar so you can log back in after the reboot. Once rebooted, it is advised to verify that you can log into the UCM through your web browser at the new static IP address. If entering the new static IP address into a web browser does not load the UCM's login screen, check that the new IP matches what is displayed on the UCM's LCD panel by pressing the check mark button. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover services featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamics salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.